cover of Misty Eye, just like it tells a story. Um, how closely did you work with the designer? Yeah, it's been amazing. Like, like I say, I've had the whole two years and I've not been working every day, so I've had a lot of times like this, just sat on my sofa going, oh, what can I do that's clever? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've had a massive, massive um, input into that. I, I remember a y probably about a year ago when we met up with the label, I brought a friend down to my flat in London and he's sick on computers and stuff and I was like, we're on Google, I was like, put that there, put these here, put, oh shit, this is kicking off. <laughs> Took it to the label, they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a year later, we had one that looks pretty similar. Um, I've always liked album covers that, you know, when you look at it and you can pick something off just straight away, but then maybe you'll go back three months later when a bit more of the albums come out and you'll be like, oh yeah, look, let's put that there, that's pretty cool. Now, are there any songs that you um, struggled leaving off the album and how did you decide we'll actually make the cut? Uh, there, were, there, there was a couple. Um, there, was, there was a couple of songs that, that maybe could have got on there, uh, but I think it just it just made sense. Like as we were writing it, it was clear that you know we only there was ten songs on the on the album and that's all that was needed. The the, the narrative that I wanted to follow just kind of came to a full stop. It's just, it wasn't even that. It was just like. As I, I ran out of things to write about when I got to the end of the, the months, like, and in saying that, what, three songs, three songs threw into the album. I, I was, I got home one night from some event or something, and I sat at my piano, just a bit pissed, it's dead jolly, and I, was, I wrote this song. And I ran Ben up the next day, and I'm like, I've written the last track on the album, mate. It's sick. I love it. It's well good. It's like, well, it's, uh, it's a five-track album at the moment, mate. So, really, when we'd filled up there, I was like, this is where I've got to stop because this is the last track. What I want to talk about is um, when you did you feel any um, apprehension leading up to the actual release date because like this is your first you know release on a major record and label. How did you feel about that? Yeah, man, it's it's, it's scary. Uh, I think I think the worst bit is because you you don't know, do you? Like I've built this album now and we've made it, and the, the months where we were making it have been amazing, and being able to get on the road. And, and to sing it to people and go around and talk about yourself and do all these promo <laughs> things is amazing but at the end of the day it's just scary because you don't know do you? you don't. Mm -hmm. Like on the, the Saturday of the weekend I was just sat in my flat just going, shit, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder if anyone's going to buy this. Um, it's just hard man, I, I, I love it, I'm, I'm massively, it's weird for people who make their own music to go yeah I'll, I love it but if I, if I get a spare hour, I'll put it on. I think it's I've made something that I really like, and it's just it's just scary, like trying to go. Come on, everyone, listen to it now. No, I wasn't nervous. <laughs> How important is um because like I was saying, you've got a huge following on Twitter. Does that ever make it difficult to ascertain who are the real fans and who are the people who just want you know retweet or you know? Yeah, it's it's crazy. I, I think that's something I've always it's amazing and the support. Like the support I've had over the last two years, like I've not been signed for a year and a half, and every day I was just like, uh, I'm in the studio. <laughs> like maybe I was. Like it's amazing to, that you can have a basis like that where people can support you and be nice to you. And, you know, half the reason I think I'm signed is because like we trended it every day for like two months or three months or whatever. But yeah, you have to take it with a pinch of salt. Like I always, I always said to my friends. You're like you've got 400,000 followers, and it's like, yeah, but I bet Annabelle Hutchinson's got like four accounts, hasn't she? <laughs> like, she's just trying to help them all.